Hey folks, welcome to What You Cooking Wills. You know, today I was out out in the yard. We got a couple big cherry trees out there in the back and they're just exploding the cherries today. And, and so I was out there picking cherries and all of a sudden I had this greatest craving. Yep, you know, horse and pork belly. Just horse and pork. <laughs> what cherries and pork belly have in common, I don't know, but I got a craving for it. So I'm going to share with you today my recipe for, uh, it's called, um, Twice cooked pork is a Sichuan style dish from, from China. Um, I ain't got all the ingredients that they usually use, so I make some substitutions. But pretty much all you need, it starts with just a nice piece of pork belly. I like the pork belly. I won't do nothing to it. I just wash it off and pat it dry. I'm gonna throw that in the pot on the stove. And then I'm gonna add, uh, see this is where I didn't have the ingredients. Usually you use uh, garlic chives or they're also called Chinese leeks, but this is just some big green onions that I had. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to find garlic chives, big garlic chives in, you know, Americans like Fred Myers and Safeway. And so, um, and the only Asian market is like 15 miles from where I live at. So I didn't feel like driving all the way just to get some. So I got some big green onions. I'm gonna throw that in there with it. Here, I, I chopped up just an ounce. You know, it's, it's just a round piece, just a inch long piece of ginger. I'm gonna throw that in there with it. I took three garlic cloves, you know, to make it for the garlic chives I don't have. So just use garlic. I just peeled them, took my big old knife, gave it a whack, just three of them. I'm gonna throw that in there. In, in with that, I got Sichuan peppercorns. These little babies have a numbing effect, but um, since they are not gonna be in oil, it won't be so bad, it's just ground them a little bit. So I'm, just a tablespoon. I'm gonna put that in the pot with it. That gives it a good flavor. And again, like I said, most all Chinese cooking, you'll have the Shaoxing rice cooking wine in there. Go and throw some of that in there. Uh, all these will be in the description there, all the recipes. So yeah, just a couple of tablespoons. And the last thing I will add in there is some light soy sauce. Um, this is a superior light. We use this superior light and dark. We always use it, but just a little bit of that. Again, about two tablespoons. Throw that in there. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just, you wanna cover with water. Just put enough water in the pot to, to cover the pork. Cause what we're gonna do is we're going to boil this pork for 20 minutes. Hence, you know, the twice cooked pork. So yeah, just put enough water in there to almost cover the pork. After that's done, you turn on the heat, you boil that pork for 20 minutes, you take it out, you let it cool down for 10 minutes. And after that is done, I'm gonna come back and show you how we use the pork and the rest of the recipe It's pretty simple. One carrot, bell pepper, you can have any color you want, green, red, orange. I got a green one because I ain't paying no $2 for a bell pepper and these were cheaper. So anyway, yeah, one bell pepper, a carrot and some onion and well, just a few more ingredients. But when this is done boiling for 20 minutes, I will be back and show you the rest of the recipe and how to prepare it. Um, so yeah, well for me, it's gonna be 20 minutes, but for you, just gonna be a quick second. Um, oh, when I promise, I promise my wife, I know I got Southern roots and I talk really fast. So I will try to slow down. Uh, if I could remember to slow down. Uh, so yeah, I will be back in just a few seconds. See you then. Okay, folks, we are back. The pork has done and cooled down and I've sliced it. Um, to show you, I've you know, just sliced the little strips about a quarter inch thick, you know, just take the pork belly and just slice it. Keep slicing the quarter inch strips until you get it all sliced up nice and even. And so now we're gonna do it with this pork now. We're going to put it in a wok with some oil and we're going to start rendering it down and cooking it. But since it is a wok, I can use metal utensils. It's not going to hurt it. So what we're doing is we are cooking this until the, this pork starts to render the fat out of it. And the more fat that gets rendered out of it, the more leaner and you know, it becomes. And so why that is just is cooking, I will go ahead and explain the rest of the ingredients. So what I got here is I got one carrot, 
I slice up a little chunk, and then again, quarter inch little pieces. I got a green bell pepper, sliced up in chunks. Here I got another green onion, the whole thing, the white and the green. And then I took two little Thai chilies, this is optional if you don't like it spicy. And I just slice them in pretty good chunks. Of course I got my garlic paste, and I got about a, another tablespoon of thin slices of ginger. And that will go in here along with, of course, you know, the Chinese cooking wine and a third cup of the stock from where we cook the pork at with all the other spices in there. Just a quarter cup of that for liquid. Now when the pork cooks down, it's going to start releasing the large some of the fat from the pork. And so if you don't like all that fat in there, you can drain some of it off. I don't mind it, so I'm not going to. Um, and like I said, this is my version of this dish. Traditionally, there's, you use a sweet bean paste in there and, and another sauce, you know, that is very typical for, for the um, such one style food, but I don't have that. And so I'm making substitutions the way I like it. If I have it, I will use it. Okay, that is cooked down. So what I'm doing now, do now is you always want to add in your vegetables that you're cooking with it in order of the ones that take longer to cook. So in this case, the carrots, they take way longer to cook than the bell peppers. So you want to add them in there first. That way everything is cooked to just where you want it and not too much. Throw them in there, give that a good stir around. You know, just cook them carrots for two, three minutes. And then you can throw in the rest of the stuff for the bell pepper and the onion and everything else that cooks about the same speed. So, oh, and I also got a tablespoon of Korean chili paste here. It sort of substitutes for all the other sauces I don't got, like the sweet bean paste and the other chili sauce that they use. Okay, got that in there. That was a cook up. So now I'm going to add, go ahead and add in the bell pepper. Traditionally, this is served with chilies, like a red and a green chili, but I do not have them. I didn't feel like going to the store for them. And um, like I said, the yellow and, I mean, the red and the, and the yellow bell peppers, they cost $3 a piece and I ain't paying that. So I just got a green one. I'll save the onions for a little bit later. Give that a good mix up. I am going to add salt for this, but since it's a little spicy and I like it anyway, I got this, it is a Sriracha Himalayan pink salt. Uh, this is just a different container. The didn't come in this container. This is just one I like because it got a lid on there. Uh, but I did get this stuff from some friends of mine. They uh, they have carterandcole.com. They sell all sorts of stuff on there and I got this from them. It's really good stuff. I mean, you can eat it with your finger. It's, it's really good and I really do like it. So yeah, check them out. Okay, that's cooked up there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the onion and the chili, that, one, that two little Thai chilies. But like I said, the Thai chilies are optional as, well, some people just don't like spicy food. Is that a good mix around? Now I'm going to add the chili paste, the garlic, the ginger, and the broth that we got from the cooking the pork, so you, you always want to save some of that. That is in there. I'll add the chili paste last. Here's the broth from the cook we cooking the pork. And the chili paste. And of course, we're gonna mix that all together. And we'll cook this until um, the liquid in, in there, it reduces probably almost all the way. You just want a little bit left in there. And that's gonna give it time the vegetables to be cooked, but not too done. And all them flavors to get in there, especially the ginger and the garlic. And usually if you watch my videos, you'll see that I always use a ginger and garlic paste. But for this dish, I did not do the paste. I wanted them separate. That way the, the flavor, it don't make one flavor, it's separate flavors in the dish. And a lot of people, they do put sugar in this, 
but I don't cook with sugar most of the time. And the color is getting just the way I like it. The last thing I'm gonna add is just a little bit of this, Chinese cooking wine. Give it a little flavor there. And the finishing touch is this Sriracha Pink Himalayan Salt. But not too much, just a little bit. Because the chili paste is salty, the wine is salty, plus the broth we got from cooking the pork is a little bit salty. about done. Give it a nice little taste for spicing. Mmm, fantastic. All right, folks, I'm gonna shut that off. I'm gonna plate this up, and then I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like. So here it is folks, my version of twice cooked pork. Um, it's a very spicy, flavorful dish, very colorful. After all, you know, they say that, that color that pleases the mind, this is gonna please the palate. So hopefully you try it, you like it. Um, and if you do like it, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, all that good stuff that they do on YouTube. Um, until next time, Lord keep you, God bless, and good eats.